Chapter 3 If a man divorces a woman, and she goes and marries someone else, he will not take her back again, for that would surely corrupt the land. But you have prostituted yourself with many lovers, so why are you trying to come back to me, says the Lord? Look at the shrines on every hilltop. Is there any place you have not been defiled by your adultery with other gods? You sit like a prostitute beside the road waiting for a customer. You sit alone like a nomad in the desert. You have polluted the land with your prostitution and your wickedness. That's why even the spring rains have failed, for you are a brazen prostitute and completely shameless. Yet you say to me, Father, you have been my guide since my youth. Surely you won't be angry forever. Surely you can forget about it. So you talk, but you keep on doing all the evil you can. Judah follows Israel's example. During the reign of King Josiah, the Lord said to me, Have you seen what fickle Israel has done? Like a wife who commits adultery, Israel has worshipped other gods on every hill and under every green tree. I thought, After she has done all this, she will return to me. But she did not return, and her faithless sister Judah saw this. She saw that I divorced faithless Israel because of her adultery, but that treacherous sister Judah had no fear. And now she, too, has left me and given herself to prostitution. Israel treated it all so lightly, she thought nothing of committing adultery by worshipping idols made of wood and stone. So now the land has been polluted. But despite all this, her faithless sister, Judah, has never sincerely returned to me. She has only pretended to be sorry. I, the Lord, have spoken. Hope for Wayward Israel Then the Lord said to me, Even faithless Israel is less guilty than treacherous Judah. Therefore go and give this message to Israel. This is what the Lord says. O Israel, my faithless people, come home to me again. For I am merciful, I will not be angry with you forever. Only acknowledge your guilt, admit that you rebelled against the Lord your God and committed adultery against Him by worshipping idols under every green tree. Confess that you refused to listen to my voice, I the Lord have spoken. Return home, you wayward children, says the Lord, for I am your master. I will bring you back to the land of Israel, one from this town and two from that family, from wherever you are scattered. And I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will guide you with knowledge and understanding. And when your land is once more filled with people, says the Lord, you will no longer wish for the good old days when you possess the ark of the Lord's covenant. You will not miss those days or even remember them, and there will be no need to rebuild the ark. In that day Jerusalem will be known as the throne of the Lord. All nations will come there to honor the Lord. They will no longer stubbornly follow their own evil desires. In those days the people of Judah and Israel will return together from exile in the north. They will return to the land I gave their ancestors as an inheritance forever. I thought to myself, I would love to treat you as my own children. I wanted nothing more than to give you this beautiful land, the finest possession in the world. I looked forward to your calling me Father, and I wanted you never to turn from me. But you have been unfaithful to me, you people of Israel. You have been like a faithless wife who leaves her husband. I, the Lord, have spoken." Voices are heard high on the windswept mountains, the weeping and pleading of Israel's people, for they have chosen crooked paths and have forgotten the Lord their God. My wayward children, says the Lord, come back to me and I will heal your wayward hearts. Yes, we're coming, the people reply, for you are the Lord our God. Our worship of idols on the hills and our religious orgies on the mountains are a delusion. Only in the Lord our God will Israel ever find salvation. From childhood we have watched as everything our ancestors worked for, their flocks and herds, their sons and daughters, was squandered on a delusion. Let us now lie down in shame and cover ourselves with dishonor, for we and our ancestors have sinned against the Lord our God. From our childhood to this day we have never obeyed him.